1977 was a big year for NASA. While not as well known as the first satellite space launch from 1957 or the Apollo 11 moon landing of 1969, the launches of the Voyager 1 and 2 spacecraft in 1977 will be one for the history books more than ever. NASA has always been at the top when it comes to space exploration, so it comes as no surprise that their Voyager 1 and 2 spacecraft have sent some truly fascinating information about space back to Earth over the past few decades. However, the information being sent back in 2022 is a little bit different and a little worrying. Before we get more into NASA's Voyager, be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon below to stay up to date on every new video. According to NASA's official website, the twin Voyager 1 and 2 spacecraft are exploring where nothing from Earth has flown before. Since their launch in 1977, the two spacecraft have been traveling around specific paths in space to pick up any information on other planets and any signs of extraterrestrial life. Currently, they are both much farther away from Earth and the Sun than Pluto. In August 2012, Voyager 1 officially made the historic entry into interstellar space, the region between stars filled with material ejected by the death of nearby stars millions of years ago. This made it the farthest man-made object located from Earth. Voyager 2 entered interstellar space on November 5, 2018, with scientists hoping to learn more about this region soon. As you can see, it's been quite some time since the spacecraft began to work. Both spacecraft are still sending scientific information about their surroundings through the Deep Space Network, also known as DSN. The primary mission assigned to both Voyager 1 and 2 was to conduct close-up studies of Jupiter and Saturn, Saturn's rings, and the larger moons of the two planets. After making a string of discoveries there, such as active volcanoes on Jupiter's moon and the intricacies of Saturn's rings, the mission was extended. Voyager 2 went on to explore Uranus and Neptune and is still the only spacecraft to have visited those outer planets. The Voyager's future missions were explained in short by NASA stating the adventurer's current mission, the Voyager Interstellar Mission, will explore the outermost edge of the sun's domain and beyond. Going back in time, the twin spacecraft Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 were launched by NASA in separate months in the summer of 1977 from Cape Canaveral, Florida. Voyager 2 was launched first in August of 1977, and Voyager 1 was launched less than a month later. To accomplish their two-planet mission, the spacecraft were built to last five years. But as the initial mission went on, and with the successful achievement of all of its objectives, the additional flybys of the two outermost giant planets, Uranus and Neptune, proved possible and irresistible to mission scientists and engineers at the Voyager's home at the Jet Propulsion Laboratory in Pasadena, California. As the spacecraft flew across the solar system, remote control reprogramming was used to upgrade the Voyagers with greater capabilities than they possessed when they left the Earth. Their two-planet mission became four. Then, their five-year lifetime stretched to 12 and is now nearing 50 years in space. Perhaps one of the most significant achievements of the Voyager spacecraft is the Portrait of the Planets, an image of the solar system acquired by Voyager 1 on February 14, 1990 from a distance of approximately 6 billion kilometers from Earth. It features individual frames of six planets and a partial background indicating their relative positions. The picture is a mosaic of 60 frames. Six planets are visible in this mosaic. The order goes as follows. From left to right, Jupiter, Earth, Venus, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. The Sun, also a point of light at this distance, is seen in their mosaic. While there have been much clearer pictures of all these planets after the portrait of the planets, this remains a significant part of space exploration history. While their strong builds and structures are to be commended, the pair of Voyager spacecraft are sending back very strange information and signals in 2022. When it comes to information, the bubble of space encasing our solar system has been reported to be wrinkled, a shape-shifting bubble never having one specific form. Data from a spacecraft orbiting Earth has revealed ripple structures in the termination shock and heliopause. This is basically the shifting regions of space that mark one of the boundaries between the space inside the solar system and what's outside it, interstellar space. This information will help scientists better understand a region of space known as the heliosphere, which pushes out from the sun and shields the planets in our solar system from cosmic radiation. 
The Voyager 1 and 2 spacecraft are seemingly in perfect condition with still functioning antennas sending information to NASA. But recently, some information sent to NASA has been undecipherable. Something strange is now occurring with the Voyager 1 spacecraft. Voyager 1 passed out of the sun's solar wind heliosphere back in 2012 and is now in proper deep space or interstellar space. The spacecraft is sending some unusual number sequences from the instrument that keeps the main antenna pointed to Earth. Voyager 1 is still within the gravity of the sun, but something seems to be going wrong with the Voyager's data collector. What could it be? The main theory behind the strange signals is failing circuitry with the onboard electronics. Another possible theory suggests it could be due to some effects on the spacecraft with cosmic radiation from an unknown part of interstellar space. If the electronics did indeed fail, the craft would have sent back some fault detection signals to the operators, but it hasn't sent any such fault signals as yet. Both Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 were sent on similar paths, but after they reached Saturn, they each took a different path in the solar system. The main problem seemed to be coming from Voyager 1, the spacecraft that's gone farther into space than any other spacecraft in the world. Another major thing to consider here is Voyager 1's lifespan. It's truly amazing that both Voyager 1 and 2 have been active for 45 years in space, but everything has its life expectancy. Voyager 1 is currently an estimated 14.6 billion miles away from Earth, moving at a speed of 38,000 miles per hour. Data from the craft takes nearly 22 hours to reach Earth. This requires a lot of power and concentration from the spacecraft. Power to the craft is expected to run out in 2025 when Voyager 1 will lose contact and fly into the void of space. That's just barely three years from now. Like how the human body or any other life form slowly succumbs to death, the same appears to be happening to Voyager 1. One important thing that you should all know is that Voyager 1 isn't only gathering and sending information such as visual data, but also carrying information and data with it dating back to the 1970s. Data such as images and videos of Earth, music, as well as greeting messages from various former US presidents had been loaded onto the Voyager 1 over decades. This was done in the very niche and remote possibility that the Voyager 1 would ever come across extraterrestrial life in our solar system or beyond it. So far, nothing from outer space has viewed that data. So as you can see, the Voyager 1 has endured much during its 45 year span in space, so it's only natural that it would be giving strange signals in 2022, three years before its expected death. But in the end, NASA has not yet confirmed any particular reason behind the theories, instead trying to work out a possible solution for the undecipherable signals. What do you think is happening with the Voyager 1 spacecraft? Is this just all a sign of its life ending? Or could there be some strange forces in space causing it to slowly malfunction? Be sure to let us know in the comment section below.